Warner Brothers Tenant bringing in $53 million in 41 international markets in its opening weekend. That according to Comscore. Director Christopher Nolan's spy movie will open in America this weekend. Now, IMAX says the movie opened to a $5 million weekend at 248 of its international theaters, grossing $20,000 per screen on average. Joining us now is Richard Geffond. He is CEO of IMAX. Richard, congratulations. Um, put those numbers in context. How does that number, 20K a theater, whatever it might be, relate to pre-pandemic? It was surprising. I mean, obviously, um, capacity was limited. Uh, people sat every other seat and every other row. So it was about 50% what it typically is. But if you look at it in 11 markets internationally, we had a higher per screen average than we had for Dunkirk or Interstellar, which is amazing. And when we looked at our own projections for the movie, it blew them away. And overall, the movie was forecast to do about $25 million, and it did $53 million. So it just, it's another piece in the puzzle, which is uh, proven on a worldwide basis that where it's safe to go to the movies, people want to go back to the movies, surprisingly. Well, it feels like it's proven, Richard, not only that they want to go back to the movies, that at least they will go back to the movies, at least a certain percentage of the population, because I know you had sold out theaters in countries that have sort of similar data and statistics to us like a Denmark, like a Sweden, even Saudi Arabia. Um, we can get even closer to home, which was Canada. Canada, which obviously shares our border and our culture in so many ways, um, limited shows in almost all the provinces, provinces to only 50 people. And we did 10,000 a screen with only 50 people. There were shows running 24 hours a day. And one interesting phenomenon came up which we were hoping for, we weren't sure, which is that people spread out during the day. So the capacity limitations only really um, count on Saturday evenings and Friday evenings when the places are really crowded. And the one thing we waited to see would people go mornings and a lot of the theaters ran 24 hour shows. And I think that was an encouraging sign. So are you saying, Richard, that if, if able, human beings will act in a fairly intelligent, self-interested manner without having to be dictated to in some cases. Sounds like the population of movie theater goers, shocking, acted in a responsible manner. And of course, I'm being a little bit tongue in cheek because I believe that if you look at a Sweden model, whatever it is, people space themselves out, not because they're told to by the government, but because they feel like it's the right and safest thing to do in many cases. Well, you can see me smiling a little bit. That's because in some cases, yes, in some cases, no. But, you know, my guess is that the millennials and people who are anxious to see the movie on opening night would be the least likely to spread themselves up. But I think as you, you know, go to people who are a little bit older, families, things like that, bringing kids, I think those would be the most likely to spread themselves out. And that was the big question for us going in which is typically a very successful theater chain does about 20, 25% capacity. Last year, which is a record year for IMAX, we did about 10% of capacity. But again, it's concentrated on those weekends and we had hoped to see the behavior we are seeing, which is this spreading out phenomenon. I think it's encouraging going forward. 